Hi, welcome to this video where we'll I introduce the software Trafilatura, which is a web scraping library and command line tool for text discovery and extraction. Uh, here we'll see in a nutshell how it works from Python. Uh, we import the package, download a URL, and then uh, extract the results. There is a number of options we can use. We can also uh, filter on target language. There is, for instance, another function called bare extractions, which uh, returns a dictionary and can be used straight from Python. A word about the features. The software can uh, perform seamless parallel online and offline processing. It's lightweight, so it lets you define which kind of format you want as input and output. And it's also modular, as it lets you uh, define which elements you want to retain in the HTML and which kind of metadata you also want to extract. Finally, it also performs link discovery and uh, can help managing URL lists. Here's the benchmark uh, comparing common extraction tools for Python on text segments uh, occurring uh, especially at the beginning and the end of the documents, which uh, is, might be boilerplate and which might get into your document collection. It's a desirable text and we see that uh, this library is performing better than uh, uh, other alternatives. So far the library has been optimized on a balanced setting for accuracy and F-measure, but settings focusing on precision and recall will follow. We now switch to an overview of the functions of the software. So first you need to install it. You can also download URLs in parallel. Um, for that, uh, you can refer to the documentation. Then comes the extraction function, where you can uh, output text in TXT format, uh, or in XML, for instance, if you choose to do so, with a number of metadata. Here, absent as it's an example page but we see we have more formatting. Um, here are further extraction functions. Uh, bare extraction, as I already said, a baseline function can be useful because it's faster and um, a function to extract metadata. You can input uh, character strings like this, parse trees, that is uh, LXML objects, object passed to the Python LXML library. Um, and you can also uh, compare the output. Here are the keys of the dictionaries that uh, the bare extraction will uh, give you if you choose to extract with this function. And here are the metadata extracted for the page. Software also allows for uh, link discovery over web feeds, that is ATOM and RSS feeds. Here is an example of the first links that we found. You can also find links using sitemaps. Um, here is a series of links targeting German for the domain sitemaps.org. And finally, we can also discover link over web crawling. Um, that is an exploratory process to find internal links uh, within a web page. The software package focuses on uh, text-based web pages, so you don't have to, uh, and does the filtering for you. So you can run the crawler on Spider and uh, get links for pages uh, which potentially don't offer an overview like this. Once you've got a new URL list, you can choose to uh, download it uh, using politeness rules, which are implemented in the software, or you can use already existing web archive and not download pages from the web, but straight from web archives. Uh, that is possible with the Internet Archive, to common crawl, for instance. And uh, you can find web pages by doing a prefix search on the common crawl index. Finally, you can also validate XML TI documents, that is documents um, in XML following the recommendation of the text cooling initiative. For more information, please refer to the documentation or to the software repository on GitHub. I invite you to read the article as web text extracts isn't as straightforward as the topic is uh, often dealt with in the NLP community, and uh, you will find a number of references uh, on the topic. You're also welcome uh, to give feedback on the software by finding issues on the GitHub repository. Or if you're interested, you could also uh, contribute to the software uh, by writing pull requests. That's all for today. See you online.